Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, right triangle uh, ABE along with this uh, rectangle BCDE put together as you can see in this uh, diagram such that uh, this angle uh, AEB is uh, 30 degrees and this angle uh, ADC is uh, 60 degrees and this uh, side length uh, AC is uh, 18. And furthermore, we got this uh, equilateral uh, blue triangle uh, DEF uh, on the top of this uh, rectangle. And now our task is to calculate the area of this uh, blue shaded triangle uh, DEF. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, ABE. And now let me go ahead and label uh, this side length uh, AB of this triangle as an X units. And here I have copied down this uh, triangle ABE right over here. Now let's recall the triangle uh, sum theorem. The sum of three interior angles in a triangle is always 180 degrees. We know this is our 90 degree angle. This is 30 degree angle. So therefore this angle has got to be 60 degrees and now we can see that this is our special uh, 30 60 90 triangle and now let's make an observation we know that 30 degree is the smallest angle in this triangle so the side opposite to this 30 degrees is going to be smallest uh, leg and moreover this uh, 90 degrees is our largest uh, angle so therefore the side opposite to this is going to be our longest uh, leg which is the hypotenuse and in such kind of special uh, triangle this uh, longest uh, leg is going to be twice as uh, this uh, smallest uh, leg in other words uh, if this smallest leg is x unit uh, then this uh, longest leg is going to be two times uh, x so therefore our this leg uh, a e turns out to be two times uh, x since our smallest leg is uh, x and here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, another triangle uh, AED. And now let's make an observation. We know that this is our 90 degree angle and this is our 30 degrees. So therefore this angle has got to be 120 degrees. And furthermore we know that this is our 90 degree angle and this is uh, 60 degrees. So therefore uh, this angle has got to be 30 degrees. And now let's recall uh, triangle sum theorem once again. The sum of three interior angles uh, must be 180 degrees. We know that this angle in this triangle is uh, 30 degrees. This angle is 120 degrees. So therefore this angle has got to be 30 degrees. And now we can see that in this uh, triangle AED this uh, angle uh, is congruent to this angle. So therefore we conclude that this uh, triangle uh, AED is an isosceles uh, triangle. So therefore we conclude that this uh, side length uh, AE has got to be equal to this side length uh, ED. So therefore these both sides uh, are uh, equal in length and we know that this side length is uh, 2x so therefore uh, this side length has got to be 2x as well. So thus our this side length uh, ED turns out to be 2x. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, rectangle uh, BCDE. And we can see that this uh, side length uh, ED is going to be congruent to this uh, opposite uh, side length uh, BC. If this side length is uh, 2x, uh, then this side length has got to be 2x as well. So thus our this uh, side length uh, BC turns out to be 2x. And now let's make an observation. Uh, we know that this whole uh, length uh, AC is equal to some of these two individual lengths uh, AB and then uh, this uh, BC. We know our AB length is x and BC length is uh, 2x. If we add them that is going to give us x plus 2x is going to give us uh, 3x and furthermore we know that this whole length AC is 18 so I can set this 3x equals to 18 and now let's go ahead and divide both sides by 3 to isolate x we can see that x value turns out to be 6 units 
And now since we are interested in finding the area of this uh, blue triangle, so let's go ahead and calculate uh, this uh, side length uh, ED. We already figured out our x value equals to 6. So 2 times x is going to be equal to 2 times 6 is going to give us uh, 12 uh, units. So therefore this side length ED turns out to be 12 uh, units and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, blue triangle uh, def now and we can see all of its uh, three side lengths uh, are equal length so therefore this is an equilateral uh, triangle and we know that this uh, side length is uh, 12 so therefore all these uh, sides are going to be 12 units as well and now let's recall another crucial factor angles uh, of an equilateral triangle are 60 degrees each so therefore this angle is going to be 60 degrees this angle is going to be 60 degrees and this angle is going to be 60 degrees as well and here's our final step let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, blue triangle uh, def and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area equals to a half times a b times a sine of angle c as you can see in this uh, triangle where we have uh, a and b are our side lengths and angle c is in between them so in our case uh, these uh, side lengths e d and uh, e f uh, are going to be side lengths which is uh, 12 and uh, 12 and the angle between them is uh, 60 degrees so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula so area of this uh, blue shaded uh, triangle is going to be a half uh, times our side lengths are uh, 12 times uh, 12 again sine of uh, our angle is uh, 60 degrees and now we can see that sine of uh, 60 degrees is uh, square root of 3 divided by 2. So therefore I'm going to replace this sine of 60 degrees uh, by square root of 3 divided by 2. So therefore the area of this uh, blue triangle is going to be a half uh, times uh, 12 times uh, 12 then times uh, square root of 3 divided by 2 and now we can see this uh, 2 reduces this uh, 12 to 6 likewise uh, 2 reduces to 12 6 uh, as well so therefore area of this uh, blue shaded triangle turns out to be 6 times 6 is going to give us uh, 36 times uh, square root of 3 square units so thus the area of this uh, blue shaded triangle turns out to be 36 uh, times square root of 3 square units and that is going to be approximately equal to 62.4 square units and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye